how much water should be added to 100 ml of hcl solution to increase its ph from 3 to 4 student as we all know that when the ph is 3 the concentration of h ion is equals to 10 to the power minus 3 and when the ph is 4 the concentration of h ion is 10 to the power minus 4 so now as we all know that m1 v1 is equals to m2 v2 so m1 is 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by volume which is 100 ml is equals to m2 which is 10 to the power minus 4 multiplied by v2 so v2 is equals to 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 100 upon 10 to the power minus 4 which is equals to 1000 ml that means the volume of the solution whose ph is 4 is 1000 ml so student it is very clear the amount of water added is equals to 1000 minus 100 which is equals to 900 ml that means the correct answer is option number 3 Moving to the next question, students, which is eighty-two. If pH of neutral water at ninety degrees Celsius is five, then the ionic product of water at ninety degrees Celsius is. Student, as we all know that for pure water, pH is equals to pOH, and here it is five, and also pKW is equals to pH plus pOH, which is equals to five plus five. That is. 10 also we know that pkw is equals to minus log kw and pkw we have already calculated it's 10 minus log kw therefore kw is equals to 10 to the power minus 10 therefore the correct answer is option number 2 moving to the next question students which is 83 A solution is 0.1 molar with respect to Ag plus Cu2 plus Mn2 plus and Sr2 plus, which will precipitate first when Cu3 to minus is added in the solution. We are given with the Ksp values of the four salts that is Ag to Cu3, next is Cu Cu3, and next is Mn Cu3, and the last is Sr Cu3. Students, we need to know that for precipitation, ionic product must be greater than the solubility product. Salts for which carbonate ion required for saturation is minimum will precipitate first. So let's find out for which salt the amount of carbonate ion required for saturation is minimum. As we all know, Ag two CO three dissociates to give two Ag plus plus CO three two minus. So Ksp is equals to Ag plus whole twice and CO three two minus. So concentration of CO three two minus for Ag2CO3 required for saturation is equals to Ksp of Ag2CO3 which is given 8.1 into 10 to the power minus 12 upon square of concentration of Ag plus which is 0.1 square which is equals to 8.1 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 10 similarly we can calculate the concentration of CO3 to minus for CuCO3 for MnCO3 and for SrCO3 concentration of CO3 to minus for CuCO3 is equals to 1.4 into 10 to the power minus 9 concentration of CO3 to minus for MnCO3 is equals to 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 10 and the last we have concentration of carbonate ion for SrCO3 that is strontium carbonate is equals to 1.1 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 9 among the given options carbonate ion in MnCO3 will be least as a result it is very clear that MnCO3 will be precipitated first that means the correct answer is option number 3 moving to the next question students which is 84 conjugate base of H3PO4 is students h3po4 gives h 2po4 minus plus h plus so the conjugate base of h3po4 is h2po4 minus that means the correct answer is option number 1 
Moving to the next question, students, which is 85. If KB of NH3 is 2 into 10 to the power minus 5, then the KA of NH4 plus ion is. Student, as we all know, that for conjugate acid base pair, KA multiplied by KB is equals to KW. The value of KA we have to calculate, which is equals to KW upon KB. And the value of KW is 10 to the power minus 14. The value of KB is 2 into 10 to the power minus 5, which is equals to 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 9. That means 5 into 10 to the power minus 10. So the correct answer is option number 1. Moving to the next question, students, which is 86.